Uh, so they gotta energy. know. <clears throat> this whole tape, I'm giving them something crazy. They voted me for young. The people just voted me for young and goaded. If you say I ain't goaded, then that nigga trolling. I don't love for these niggas. Man, what's good with y'all boys? It's your boy, No Light Blue, aka Azul. I'm finna put uh, two videos and one for y'all. I'm finna go ahead and finish this bad series video. You feel me? I'm finna be coming to y'all with five tips on how to get your playmaking badges faster. And five tips on how to get your defensive uh, badges faster. So, with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm also gonna be giving y'all, like, right, I'm gonna be, like, explaining with, like, each tip, you feel me? So the first tip like for playmaking is where you want to do pick and roll because like pick and roll is one of the easiest ways to score like a simple basketball you feel me and like whenever you're going against AI no matter like where you playing at a 2k where it's easy to score to pick and roll. For tip number two what you want to do is you want to use playmaking bats that give boost to your teammate shots like diamond, floor general and special delivery. But you also want to put Bell out on too because once you score so much, it's hard to pass out the double team and Bell out gonna help with that. Or like you know, you could pass out a driving dunk if they double, like why you driving? And that's gonna help with that too. For tip number three, just like I said in the other badge videos, what you wanna do is you wanna get team takeover and like instead of having your my player go crazy, you wanna have your my player pass to the best person on the team and go crazy with them. You feel me? That's, I can get you an easy 20 to 30 assists. For tip number four is all the time you ain't gonna be able to pass the ball. So like what I like to do, like when you playing on All Star and Hall of Fame, like you start off scoring the ball a lot, they gonna double team. Like even if you got it on pro, they gonna double team you after you score so much. So if they double teaming, that means that somebody open and you feel me? Go ahead and pass out of that. And like I said previously, like the bell out gonna help you pass out of the double team. All the time you ain't gonna be able to pass out of it. But you feel me, you can go crazy with it. For tip number five, uh what you wanna do is like I said with the other badge methods, you wanna go to team practice like like you get four drills and you want to like work on whatever badge like say you working on playmaking you want to like go to the hardest playmaking badges like which is the bottom two like you want to select either one and you want to try to get three stars because that's going to give you like the most progression towards your badges like you also can like do the chris Berkeley workout where you get the takeover perks and you could pass in there a lot too because you get like double bass progression in there also, you already know about like the city championship, the dream court and stuff. Like you could pass in here too, which that's on the screen right now. And that can get you assist because that's gonna get you like bad progression. If you don't want to play the my career game, it's like park style. And like I said, you want to get bumped. So you really could do whatever, like whatever badge you're working towards, you can get it faster just doing it that way. But also, like the higher that you got the difficulty on is like more about bad progression, more my points and more VC. So that's my five tips for playmaking. Pretty simple and easy. So let's get to the five tips for defense. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. My first tip for defense is like, I don't know like really how to explain this but don't play defense like if you got like a center or a build that can rebound and you playing on like bro if you know like your matchup that you guarding like he not that good really leave him open so you can get the rebound because rebound counts towards your defensive badges you feel me so that'd be the easiest way is like get as many rebounds as you can which is like really by leaving your man open if he can't shoot now if he can shoot you fried you getting toasted <laughs> the whole game and for tip number two we're getting your defensive badges is where if your build can't rebound like that i ain't gonna lie you want to play good defense so you can get that good shot contest you feel me because good shot contest gonna go towards that too with that being said like also when you got the good shot contest bro if you got like at least a decent block rating you should be able to block the ball at least about eight times out of ten i ain't gonna say every time because man sometimes this game that should be cheating you feel me maybe letting them make all types of bullshit but 
when you get shot contests and they towards the rim or like towards the three man try to get blocks because blocks really man blocks like give you a lot of points towards like getting your next badge and still do too so with the third tip is like you want to try to bait them for blocks like i ain't gonna lie i don't be playing defense like that i kind of get on the clear lane and then like once they get towards the hoop you feel me i'm gonna try to block it or get good shot contest but like i said every time that's not it gonna work for tip number four it's the same thing with the other bad methods like you want to go to team practice and you want to select defense you want to select the hardest ones and you want to try to get three stars because that's going to give you the most rest towards your uh bass progression also with the uh chris barkley like you know the 33 34 before and 5 five scrimmages play good defense so you can uh get your badges up in there too like your defensive badge and like you could be working on two badges at once in there and that's double bass progression with tip number five is like you want to try to like if you don't want to play micro all the time like you can go and win that championship which i ain't gonna lie I, my first build i played my career like you consistently play my career you're gonna hit 99 fast you're gonna max out your badges fast but you feel me everybody now my career heads so you feel me you can play the moss park dreamer course it's plenty of 3v3 games and you can be able to get your badges fast just by like targeting a certain badge and playing at them parts but with that being said man that's my 10 tips five tips for playmaking five tips for defense man this your boy no light blue like share and subscribe for more more videos on the way i'm out Fake, authentic, my double G. Keep a dick in your mouth, but you.